Okay, so here are some uh, common problems with obesity and how it's affecting our society. Um, the prevalence of obesity in 2017 and 18 is 42 percent, which means four out of ten people or two out of five are obese. Not overweight, obese. Um, that's up from 30 percent in 2000. Okay, so it's up 10 percent. That is wild. Obesity-related conditions include heart disease. They include stroke, type 2 diabetes, and certain types of cancer of the leading causes of preventable and premature death. So it's, it's, a, it's so like obesity is the OG, the original gangsta of pandemics. We're in a pandemic now with COVID. Um, I'd have to look this number up, but it's around somewhere around 1,500 to 2,000 people a day die from heart disease. Um, that's just the heart disease part. How much does it cost us financially in our country? The estimated annual cost of medical costs of obesity is $147 billion uh, a year, which for one person is about $1,429 higher than the weight of a normal weight person. Um, that's just obesity. We're not talking about overweight. Um, you know, does obesity... Um, is, is there some discrimination here? A little bit because non-Hispanic blacks had the highest age-adjusted prevalence of obesity. So it does affect different communities and cultures differently. On CNN or, or whatever news channel you watch, you see the statistics that they would say black and brown people, that's, that's the terminology they use, that I guess, I guess is politically correct, have a higher rate of dying from COVID, COVID-related deaths. Um, that's because in certain communities, uh, socioeconomic, there's a higher prevalence of obesity. And with that obesity, there's a higher prevalence of type 2 diabetes. 85 to 90 percent of people with type 2 diabetes are overweight or obese. So they call diabetes is obesity's, you know, like cousin, you know, like they're related. They're pretty closely related, related. However, overall, men and women with college degrees had a lower obesity prevalence compared to those with less education. Um, so just some interesting things on obesity. I'm getting this from the Center for Disease Control website. These are not my words. Um, let's shift gears here a little bit. Um, benefits of being physical act physically active. So you guys are young, right? You've got youth on your side. What can you do to minimize your risks for chronic illness? What can you minimize your risks to live a longer, happier, healthier life? This is coming from our Center for Disease Control. Um, relatively, uh, regular physical activity is one of the most important things you can do for your health besides, you know, getting rid of the obesity. Um, th these are my words, but if there were a magic pill to come for your health, it would come in the form of exercise. Um, it can be done for all ages, abilities, ethnicities, shapes, and size does not matter. However, if you're 50 pounds overweight, it might be harder for you to do. So you, you would try to lose that weight and you know through through diet um, if you're not sure about becoming active or bo uh, if you're not sure about becoming active or boosting your level of physical activity because you're afraid of getting hurt the good news is that even moderate intensity aerobic activities such as walking is is safe for most people okay so immediate benefits of being physically active for the brain we've talked about this time and time again um, happens with moderate to vigorous physical activity. The benefits include um, better cognitive and improved thinking for children, reduced short-term feelings of anxiety for adults, um, reduce your risk of depression and anxiety and helps you sleep better. It can help you with weight management, it reduces your risks for cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, some cancers, um, can be your risks for some for some cancers can be reduced with exercise, bladder cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, endometrium cancer, esophageal cancer, kidney, lung, stomach cancer. It improves your quality of life if you are a cancer survivor. Um, it can help strengthen your bones. Um, it improves your ability to do daily activities and prevent preventing you from falling. So exercise can improve your, your day, your day uh, just on daily, uh, daily activities. It increases your chance of living longer. This is all on the um, Center for Disease Control. These are not my words. So check it out. 
My goal is to convince you or sell you to want to go through life uh, healthy, at a healthy body weight, and everybody's different. There's different body types. There are endomorphs, ectomorphs, and mesomorphs, so we all do have different body types. Um, but be at the healthy body weight for your body size um, or your body type. But also, I encourage you to be physically active and to do physical activity. So my goal is to sell this to you. So 